Combine that with two item Jinx against the zone from Darius, the zone from a Gangplank, and you have to get to that Jinx somehow. Kill them all with only two threats. That's going to be incredibly hard. It is definitely going to be scary for them. But as you said, G4, this is basically his favorite champion, the iconic G4 champion. He's going to be on the Zed. Maybe they'll be able to get to the split pushing. They're going to get such a big experience lead. And back on Titans, yeah, this is what we see. Four back in the middle lane. Oh, oh, oh he's he flashes! Four long. Oh, block it down. Oh, the flash twisted advance. He gets a minion instead there. A dive here off four against two. And EDG, they're clean enough to execute this. And this ward that Mako just dropped, I love it. That's where you see the top laners coming in to teleport as well. They don't need him because he walked all the way here. Four versus two. Here comes the dive play. Back that wall, getting low. Mako, he's in trouble. He flashes up, but death, he's getting a first blood. That's a double kill for the Jinx. This is the tempo that we're talking about for EDG. They do not like to let you have a moment's respite. Yeah, an incredibly clean execution. Mako starts tanking, he gets out before he dies. By that time, Death has one kill, two kills. Now his double buff tower's dying. Wall comes back. He wants oh some more. My God. Oh my god! They're gonna get locked up. Clear the boogie for the stun. Death wants a third kill. The auto's good! Rocket follows Death! Gets himself three kills in four minutes! <laughs> but after a 3 0 Jinx start, there's, there's no trading you can do. Jinx completely outrages you. Mako comes, comes in, Mako. Lantern. Again, ulti out from Pawn as well. G4, good dodge there, but the exhaust is out from Pawn. Clear up, follows in, looks for the stun. Ulti out from G4, is going to try and save his life. But a chomp is going to give death his kill number four. So he can take you out 2v1, especially with the reset mechanic on that ulti. So, uh -oh. now ulti coming in. Yep, going back. G4, looking to try and get out of it. Clear up, ulti, no Mako. Follows in with a hook, the damage is down. Ulti's used, but Pawn's going to get the kill. <laughs> Certainly is as Dragon number one is going to go to EDG, forcing them away with that ult from death just to make sure Bangkok Titans couldn't get there. To why we saw, you know, early season three, split push was so popular because teams couldn't deal with it. Just like oh, Lloyd may not be able to deal with this move. Is going in. Lloyd actually has to pop his ulti. Moss and 007X will get in. Mako, maybe the target is cleared up, does get stunned by the Braun passive death. He's in there, he's going to pop the ulti in melee range. Pawn, first kill onto Lloyd, but G4 is going to come out. 007X oh, is death. low, he'll die as death. He's going to flash his way out, but can they get the kill? G4 will land the shutdown, but the Dunks going to give Darius the double. They killed death. They deny the perfect game. But G4 is trapped under. Oh, oh he's flash! <laughs> Gets himself to safety, but EDG are not done. They'll plow straight through mid lane. 8 to 1 up in kills, continuing to spiral ahead in gold. Almost 10k ahead as 007X has found Amazing J, but Amazing J will stand and fight. Paul's gonna help him out. The ult is good. Looking for the dunk. Apprehend does find and he gets the kill. 1v2. And this is exactly what we feared. Hang on, Moss is getting caught yeah, again. Up there by Skarner. Paul's gonna ride in, and that's another killer's death. Barely misses the secure. It looks like Bangkok Titans are just gonna try and collect some farm. Difficult to challenge here, maybe even impossible as they will pick it up, and this game is only getting further and further out of reach. Here. Again, they've just constantly been keeping up the deep vision. Now they're gonna try and keep... Uh-oh, nice little combo. Hondo's get caught, though. Yeah, G4 coming in, the exhaust is down, he's gonna ride the lantern out to safety. Ulti will proc, but it's not enough damage, and that GPL almost kills Moth Dev! Gonna snipe him off with the rocket, Lloyd pumps a heal of the run, but Clearlove, he wants blood, and he's gonna now look for 007X. Clearlove will ult anyone that he can take, he doesn't care if it's the front line, if he grabs you... Oh, Mako! Mako! Moves them back into the box as Clearlove collects it. I'm actually waiting for one of the really trolly players to take the emote of the opposing team. <laughs> that's the next that. level emote strategy. You yeah. can even use them when you're dead, I believe. So that's, even from the grave, you can contribute to a, a pleasant viewing experience. Well, that's great for you, Krebo. That is, that's Ooh. how I found out. You know, I do die a lot. Well, 18 minutes, first inhibitor goes down, uh, EDG. Yeah, 13,000 gold now. I hate to break it to you, but I have been informed that the reps are not allowing them to take the other team's emote. Darius, Gangplank has his own built-in armor yep. as well, so. Jinx doesn't care because she has like a full item up on anybody else in the Make game. The play. He'll land the hook though, clearly I'm going to follow in. Oh, Pawn's go. ulti sets it up as Death snipes it with a zap. Crowd is a big Mako fan here, chatting his name, always fun to be. Well but yeah, deserved. A high kill participation on most members here. Finally, Kluva finds oh, G4. G4. Trouble now is Death just kills him before the ulti can even pop. EDG now going to funnel into that base, look for more kills, but they'll be more than happy to take another inhibitor. All right, inhibitor number two down. They're gonna go for Nexus turrets next. Okay, EDG is super far ahead, so, you know, so those pink wards aren't as impressive, but if you're gonna follow EDG throughout the entire tournament, hang on, surrender. Yeah, and that's the surrender for Bangkok Titans. The Baron could not be completed as EDG in style take their first game here in Paris. Yep, well-deserved. Uh, Mako with some big plays. 
from the very beginning of the game, actually, out playing a lot of the lane swap yep. and continuing into the jungle, keeping up the pressure that we were looking for. 